guys after subscribing to this channel please make sure that you also press the bell icon so that no notification no new video of mine any educational video is missed by anybody all right so i welcome one and all tonight again for the class on prolapse now if you do attend this class properly today with me this one hour is going to be enough for you to understand retain remember prolapse and probably forever clears all your concepts regarding prolapse today i'll be taking up the basics of prolapse i'll be dealing with the you know most important quantification systems tonight and which is why i have kept management for a separate class okay so i've got as you can see already on my screen there are only just 25 slides to learn tonight and i'm going to be dealing up with the you know the most basic concepts the thing that you find most difficult okay cos pop q grid classification not just you know the understanding but also quizzing i'll be quizzing you towards the end so that i'm sure that you've understood the concept right like i said again and again i'm telling you to please enter the chat box so that you're with me throughout the class there is a complete you know communication between us every any time that you find that you're not able to hear my voice properly or you cannot hear the the audio properly please let me know now i had posted the pop q uh, package on the telegram channel that was not to promote the package that was actually to tell you that there is a separate dedicated package for prolabs for those students who have not probably purchased my entire course because the ones who've taken my updated theory course they get automatically the entire bundle of everything is available over there for those students who do not have my updated theory course they can individually study prolabs pop q quantification system if they are having any difficulty in understanding it right so uh, uh guys if you do not have that please go ahead and buy it it's hardly of any you know amount so you can easily just go and clear your concepts but there are not just only those these two three videos which i'm going to be showcasing in my class anyways there're going to be a lot of other videos on prolapse because you need to visually see uh you know prolapse quantification to be able to understand it and then keep it inside right to be able to do it in your uh, examination so um uh i'll be uh, starting with prolapse now we have a sufficient number of participants and uh, guys again uh, tonight since i have a uh, now a full house i have a couple of uh, students who i wanted to uh please guys just take 2 minutes of your time just go to the chat box write down the good dnb institutes of your area good in academics good in hands on and please send it right now in the chat box you free to do this exercise anytime and let me know Uh, I hope you all can see my screen and can hear my voice loud and clear. I'll be sharing a couple of uh, videos with you. They are my videos, my tutorial videos for pop Q classification system quantification actually. And towards the end, we'll be doing a grid, all of us together, right? So for you to understand, the grid is very, very important. I'm sure uh, it's being do done as a regular exercise in all your institutes. But I would still want you all to stay with me and learn it the way. uh it is supposed to be and in a very fun way and in a very um, you know easy way i'll make you understand the entire system of uh, prolapse without much effort now let me tell you that you know this uh, risk factors for prolapse or the pelvic supports of, for the prolapse that they, they don't let the organs uh, literally slide down or the you know tissue pathogenesis or uh, you know the clinical features of differential diagnosis this becomes you know the undergraduate level you've been taught up till now all these things to be spent to be spoken this is going to be asked in your viva right but that is not usually be uh, asked at the time of your prolapse case if you get during your um, uh post graduation viva so uh, what happens is that the emphasis mostly is on the quantification system your diagnosis your your ability to understand a little bit little bit about urogynecology and then decide to plan for it for that reason considering her age her you know fertility status and her uh, you know the other you know predisposing factors along with the, the the prolapse so uh, what is most important is actually the quantification and your management a lot of which depends on the quantification itself So this is why I have taken it through two separate classes. One is about the quantification system, and the other one will be upon the management. Management I'm going to take in the next class because it's not a very simple management. It's about complex things being involved. It's about the, you know the age, as I said before. It's about the degree of prolapse. It's about the the, the the choice, the desire of the patient. What does she want? The quality of life. 
so all these things and i'm going to take take it up in the next class now already we've like uh, 10 minutes late now let's start with the definition and then a little bit of you know when i say that these things are not important does not mean that i'm going to be skipping those things through you know why the reason is that if at all you are you're always started from the basics once they know that you're well versed with the basics they quickly move towards the higher questions okay being an examiner of the you know the, of the level of post graduates they know where you have to direct them to but these questions will not be skipped they can ask you and they will ask you these questions right so we have to touch upon these important things but in what depth that i'll tell you so prolapse is all about this right first of all you define what prolapse is second you tell me what exactly are the things which are not letting the prolapse happen this is what i'm going to be talking about so pelvic organ prolapse is nothing but a protrusion or herniation of the pelvic organs right outside or into the vagina basically why because the anatomical supports they are failing them so gravity is going to pull down everything even the skin starts sagging down right so this is the basic mechanism of the body the moment the tone is gone it starts sliding down but such a kind of thing that internal organs start herniating out that becomes not just embarrassing it becomes dangerous as well so very important is that we get to know it in time catch it in time and we are able to you know kind of reverse it back or at least you know stop the uh, growth any further So now the question arises that why some people have it and some people don't. So what are the supports? Now all of you who have seen my anatomy classes know that I have taught uh, in you know in detail about the the pelvic diaphragm. You know the attachment of the pelvic diaphragm, how it becomes one bowl. It's like a bowl, right? And you know how the diaphragm is the normal diaphragm in our body, right? So it's like a segregation. You know this is the thoracic cavity, this is the abdominal cavity. in the same way literally the same way this bowl you know this levator and i this is how i have taught you before all those who have att- attended my anatomy classes know this now so i have taught you like a bowl so it's like a pelvic diaphragm we call it it kind of separates the abdominal cavity from the perineum right in the perineum we spoke about you remember the urogenital diaphragm the the anorectal triangle and you know this entire space of deep perineal pouch and superficial perineal pouch is all perineum so it kind of separates it from the perineum and perineum is the one where these or- orifices are and these orifices are the ones from which the herniation of these internal organs is starting 